Okay, so we're going to look at some straight line equations today. And we're going to look at them uh, compared to um, a story that will go with them. So typically in these stories, we have things such as, in this case, a jogger, but it, it might be um, a paddle steamer. Um, it could be um, uh, something else that moves, like an amount of water that's coming out of a tank, things of that nature. Something where that we start at a certain point, whether that be zero or whether that be um, at its peak and you're either increasing in value or you're decreasing in value by typically a steady rate, okay? So um, in this case, we're gonna be looking at the idea of a jogger who runs at six kilometers per hour for three hours. So we have the two elements, which is the distance and the time. And then we are going to be able to use that to create a table of values, create a graph and um, a rule um, and, and apply that rule to find out some, some other uh, answers. So we start firstly by drawing up our table of values there. In this question it tells us that um, t is equal to time and d is equal to distance. So um, we've got to make sure that we always start here at zero so we get that zero value happening um, because that gives us our first coordinate when we go to do our graphing. So um, at zero time the jogger has, has, ridden, has ran zero kilometres. After one hour, they would have run six, okay? And then after two hours, they would have run 12. And after the three hours, they would have run 18 kilometers. So there's our table of values. We can then draw up our, um, our graph. Now in this case, we only need the one quadrant because they're all positive values here. Um, you can't run negative, negative um, kilometers. Um, so we only need uh, our, we're gonna make our uh, y-axis or D for distance and we're gonna have along the bottom um, our T axis or X axis here for time. Okay, so we're time in hours, distance in kilometers, one, two, three hours here, and up the side six, 12, 18, I've gone up to 24 kilometers here. So we can, we can then um, put in these coordinates. So we've got zero, zero, we have one and six, two and 12, um, three and 18, like this. And that creates for us our nice linear graph and we can see that that's going to keep going in that direction okay um, we can then the question then says uh, write a rule linking d and t so d is going to equal something relevant to t okay so we know that um, the distance is six so it's going to be six times by the time so six t okay um, and we can see if we put zero into that, zero times six gives us zero. Here, um, one, one times six will give us six. Here, two, two times six will give us 12. So distance equals six T. It then gives us um, two other questions to answer where we're looking at um, either the value of T or the value of D. So it says, basically, if um, the uh, time equals one and a half hours, what's the distance? So we put, we can put this value into this rule. Okay, so that'll be D equals six times 1.5. Okay, and six times 1.5 um, will then give us um, our, our answer, which will be uh, nine kilometers. Okay, and then the final question says, um, well, what if the what if d is twelve? So that it, so d equals d equaling twelve. Okay, so then we can put d equals twelve as the start equals six t. Okay, um, and then we can work um, from that. So to get rid of the six here, we would divide by two. Sorry, divide by six. Okay, and on this side we would divide by six as well. 12 divided by six, so two equals t, so the time would be two hours. Okay. Um, now you could also argue that for that question here, you could go back up to your table of values and go, well, I'm already, I already know what that is from the table of values. Okay, but this um, use of the formula proves it as well.